the Mushin Academy in Battle Creek, Michigan, uh, bringing you uh, a new review and demonstration of the Max MMA Advanced Speed Adjustable Freestanding Reflex Bag Kit. Uh, this is also known as a Cobra Bag, uh, if you uh, wanna see some other videos. And there's a few different uh, makes. Uh, Max MMA had one out uh, a few years ago that I did a really good review on uh, that's gotten a lot of traffic on it. And uh, they sent me this new one. They actually sent me this one uh, about a year ago and uh, it was in production or it was in pre-production and they sent it to me to do some product uh, testing on it. And uh, this one's got some uh, developments on it that I'll let you guys know about. Uh, but this particular bag, uh, as other reflex bags in comparison, this one bends at the middle uh, versus at the bottom. The first generation bent at the bottom. It had a lot more play, but it was a little slower. This one's a mid, uh, mid spring bag, which gives it a lot more speed. Um, and then they give you a couple, a couple different bags you can put on it. So they've got the, uh, the larger bag uh, with the visual cues on it. And then they kind of have this smaller stealth bag uh, if you really want to work on accuracy. Uh, since I like to knee and elbow and jump and do all sorts of crazy stuff on the bag, I like to go with the bigger one. Uh, but once you get comfortable with the big one and you want to move to the small one, it's pretty easy to switch it out. Uh, the kit also comes with uh, the water-filled base and uh, the multi-purpose weight bag. And uh, I tell you, I really like the weight bag also. Uh, it's about 15 kilograms, uh, about 30, 35 pounds, uh, the way I have it filled with sand. And you can use that as a fitness bag. Uh, you can use it as, in any way that you would use a sand bag. Uh, so uh, besides just helping making the base stay on the ground where it belongs, uh, you have an extra bag that you can use for exercise. Uh, setting this up is not too bad. They send you everything that you need uh, to put the bag together. Allen wrenches, uh, you're just going to want to uh, wrench it together here at the middle and then just uh, securing the bag at the top. Everything else just screws in. Uh, they did some fortifications on this one uh, versus the pre-production model. It's got bigger rings. Uh, it actually has a uh, more sturdy anchor at the base uh, and they reinforced the bottom where the bag uh, pole goes into the weighted bottom. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed uh, with this so far. Also, this kit comes complete uh, with some hand wrap, punching guards. Uh, they're not real MMA gloves like for fighting uh, or for sparring, uh, but they're more like a bag glove. It's a gel, uh, kind of a gel wrap or hand wraps, uh, like a speed wrap if you look at some of the other products out there. Uh, this is a gel over the knuckles uh, with some wrist support. So these would be great for uh, working on the bags, maybe light pad hitting, uh, speed bag, um, and uh, everything comes together so you don't have to go out and, and purchase something else. It also comes uh, with a small air pump, which is fine for these little bags and uh, the bag and the needle. So you don't have to run out to the store and buy that. The only thing you're going to need is water for the base. And if you want to use it, sand in the sandbag. Uh, you could also put uh, water bottles uh, or any other weighting uh, material into the exercise bag. Uh, I went with sand and I just bought some sand at the hardware store for less than five dollars, a 70, 70 pound bag of tube sand. I put half of it in this bag. Um, I also like to put sand and water into the base uh, to make it even heavier. Uh, but if you just want to make it convenient, you can also you can just put water in there. Um, but uh, I'll show you guys how this, uh, how this bag plays out. Uh, I'll do it on the first setting. Right now it has the uh, support bar inside the spring. So the play is limited in how far it travels, makes it very fast, keeps it right where you hit it. We'll take it out after that uh, so you can see how it, how it swings around if you want to uh, slow it down or if you just want a more elusive target uh, or you just want to change the range or you just want to change up your workout. Uh, I think it's great to vary the stimulus and vary the response uh, and see how that affects what uh, combinations and what techniques you can throw. Uh, again, I love, I love reflex bags. Uh, not just because they're great uh, in, a, in a facility where you can't hang stuff. Uh, these are great at your home and they're great, uh, they're great in your garage or anywhere that you just want convenience. Um, great for footwork. Uh, this is kind of like having a shadow boxing partner that you can hit. Uh, it also uh, lets you work different technique. It's, it's a piece of training 
that you can fit into the rest of your curriculum. Uh, will this make you a great fighter by itself? No, but will it make you a better fighter or help you train and get fit uh, so that you can become better at everything else you do? Absolutely. And that's, uh, that's why I like this equipment. That's why I love speed bags. I love double end balls. I love heavy bags. Each piece develops different, uh, different characteristics uh, and different abilities. And uh, for the price, uh, this kit is a great addition to your stuff. So uh, go ahead and check it out. And uh, I'll, show you, I'll just quickly show you some of the stuff we do, and then I'll change the settings and let you look at the other things. Uh, and then uh, you can check it out for yourself. Thanks. <laughs>
piece of Velcro strap down here so you can uh, strap the rod to the pole here. I got it tightened up too far, so there we go. So I can just set that down there, tighten this up. And then I don't have to worry about losing my, losing my pieces. So that keeps it in there. But now it moves more like you see, uh, if you see some of the, uh, there's some good boxing videos out there uh, on the Cobra bag, they call it. Um, but it's just got a lot more, a lot more play in it. Okay. So this slows it down, uh, kind of slows down the hand combinations, unless you move closer. The closer I get, I can still keep the speed up. Or if I hit it out here more from neutral, I get more travel time. So that changes it up. I can still move in and get close though, and then work. I also like this because it, it gives me that defensive reaction because this ball can travel. Also when the ball's out here, I can work things like knees. So I can try to set up a knee. Okay, you can try to set up knees. Okay. Uh, anytime you have an opponent, uh, you get his head down, if that's when you want to knee. So if you have a guy whose posture is leaning forward, say uh, you bait him into bobbing and weaving with hooks, like that, he starts bobbing and weaving, that's the time to throw your uppercut, up elbows, and your knees. So I like to try to practice that, set that up, and keep that in mind, okay? So this way you can practice some of that stuff. Also it changes the timing, so you can work your uh, different techniques. Uh, I also just recommend changing it up so that you just get different timing, uh, a different feel, different pace, okay? If you can, uh, in the ring, vary your pace, bring it up, bring it down, learn to recognize how you feel, push the other guy, uh, take breathers when you want to, or just set them up. Sometimes you slow things down, so then when you speed it up, you can catch them again. So, the more variation you have with the tools, hopefully the better that helps your game. Uh, but I'll show you guys just a little bit of gaming on this uh, with the setup the way it is, and, uh, and let you guys go from there, all right? Okay guys, well that's just a, a taste of some of the things you can do with the Max MMA uh, Advanced Adjustable Speed Reflex Bag Kit. And if you'd like to see more examples of that or more lessons uh, on techniques you can use uh, for footwork, for setting up combinations, 
uh, even for ring strategy. Uh, feel free to leave comments or questions below. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be a lot more active this year with some videos. And uh, we've got some new product uh, that they've sent me too, so I'm kind of itching to get that stuff out there too. But uh, give it a try. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. And thank you, Maxim MMA, for uh, sending us another great product. Uh, look forward to working with you guys in the future. Thanks. Okay, guys. Well, that's just a, a taste of some of the things you can do with the Maxim MMA uh, Advanced Adjustable Speed Reflex Bag kit and if you'd like to see more examples of that or more lessons uh, on techniques you can use uh, for footwork for setting up combinations uh, even for ring strategy uh, feel free to leave comments or questions below uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff uh, I'm hopefully going to be a lot more active this year with some videos and uh, we've got some new product uh, that they've sent me too so I'm kind of itching to get that stuff out there too but uh, Give it a try. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. And thank you, Max MMA, for uh, sending us another great product. Uh, look forward to working with you guys in the future. Thanks.